is from Jack. There's a statewide APB out on him. Jack's okay. What? He has something up his sleeve. He's not worried about being caught. So how do we help? We go after the other side of the equation. Jack has a lesion and its cronies running scared. We go after the doctor and some of the other guys. But the whole department breathing down our necks. It's time for action, Herschel. It's time for change. Jack's crossed the Rubicon and we have to be on the other side ready to help. Whoa! Jesus, what was that? <gasps> Explosion. Something big. You think it's the Reds? You think those rusky sons of bitches that dropped the H-bomb on us? Calm down, Herschel. We need to be ready for the call. I'm not waiting for an invitation. Get in the car and head for the cloud. KGPL can give us the details on the way. Whoa. That can't be a fire, right? All units, all units, reports of an explosion. Whoa, look at the road! All units, car 88K reports an explosion downtown, repeating 88K. <gasps> We're already here! I even knocked over a fire hydrant too, great going. Now we're not gonna get the water. We have looters around the corner. Cuff them or put them down. We need to get this area under control. You don't shoot a cop, you little prick. Get that bastard cold. What the hell? An explosion God, happens? Profit, exactly. Oh, you're gonna shoot me, huh? Then I'm gonna shoot you back. I'm not gonna try to save your life if you try to shoot me. Die. One is dead. How about the other one? Oh, it's like ashes. I was like, why is it snowing? The commander will want us to see. Let's go. Whoa, what is this? It's like a terrorist attack here. Jesus. I never see nothing like this. I wish I could say the same. It's like a bomb's gone off. Jesus Christ. People. Oh my god. I find out what went down. What? Delayed, Phelps. Get delayed somewhere? Uh. What in God's name happened here? It wasn't nuclear. If it was, we'd all be dead from the radiation. That's reassuring. What's radiation? Everyone inside the factory was vaporized. I mean, look at the size of that crater. What's going on over there? The mayor is going on television, appealing for calm. Television? We can afford one of those things. Anything to go on? You're looking at the remains of Nicholson electroplating. I have an idea of what might have caused the explosion, but I'm only guessing. Have a look around the rubble, see if you come up with anything. Nicholson electroplating? Worlds turn upside down. Cole. What do they do? Then it's time for us to do our jobs. What? Oh god, that's a hand. It's like suddenly we're not even playing the same game anymore. Brother. How do we find evidence here? How do we find evidence here? Nicholson electroplating? Truck? No? This area's pretty damn big. Oh. You know what? I think we're near the end now. And we have, um, we have four intuition points, right? I never tried it out, but you can actually use them to show where the clues are on the map, right? Let's try this. Oh, it's all over there. Yeah, this is much easier. Let's see here. How are you supposed to find anything? It's all rubble. Size eight? No. Sweet heavens above. Hey, detective! I think I got something here. What is it? Any idea what this is? Very large egg cup? A Viking helmet? How would I know, Phelps? Try putting it back together. Looks to me like some kind of machine component. Of An airplane part, maybe. Airplane? 
Airplane crashing? What? Okay, that's not a clue. Now we know because we did the intuition thing. Oh, what the hell? There's there's not enough ambulances on the scene here. Wait. This one little piece of rag? Looks like all that's left. We can try the laundry tag. Yeah, but whose shirt is that? We don't even know whose shirt that is. Phelps! I think I found something over here. Are you walking over to the clue or? Detective, you seen this yet? Come take a look. Locker. Blew the locker open, but shielded the contents. Let's see what we got in here. This is some random person's briefcase. Whoa! Oh, only OSS agents use these things. Spy camera? We'll need to get the film developed to see if there's an espionage angle. Espionage plus Japanese name? Tamako Akamato. Japanese name. Oh. Research assistant. Any ideas, Hershel? What? None that I care to utter for public consumption. You're taking that? Arbitrarily? Whoa, this is like a spy kit. We have a cipher here, we have a spy camera. What is it? A substitution cipher. The Germans used them in the war. These are cipher rings. You know what to do with them? Maybe. I used them in OCS. Isn't this person kind of a bad spy? They put their name in the First same kit? The, cipher key. the rest of the message should align itself. What do you want me to do? H equals K? How do I actually... change this? Can I go out? Uh, I'm not sure I understand how to change this right now. H equals K? 133? But all I can do is change the outer ring, right? Oh, okay, I can move it. The inner one. Uh, K, I guess? Rotate outer wheel to the first letter of the cipher. Is that... Am I doing this right? H equals K, 133? What about 133? I can't change the number. Like, is it supposed to be automatic, or do you want me to do the rest of it too? Like, H equals K. Oop. And the message starts with K. So, if I turn- if I turn this to K. Like, the first letter's N. Oh, okay! At the top- the top left corner, it says N right there. I see. S? B? B. O. J. L. K. Q. X. S. B. It's an address. 133 North Vermont Avenue. Well, let's go. What are we waiting for? We looked at all of it. We just happened to find a spy kit in a locker. Are we going off some sort of terrorist angle here? That doesn't seem related to the whole Elysian Fields thing. I guess we're too busy dealing with something else right now? I don't know. Maybe just a little bit of break here? That's it, Mr. Mayor. We're wrapped. Well, good. Thank you very much, son. I think it went okay. Couple of pickups, sir, but that's to be expected. Nobody's ever done this before. We'll get better another with practice. Another day, another dollar. That maybe goes for me too, son. Should have played it a little more somber. What do you think, son? 
Uh, no, Mr. Mayor, you came across as um, very resolute. Oh, they're doing the television taping. I was wondering what the hell are you guys talking about? Getting better with practice? Saying that during a tragedy? My god. Okay, I think we're looking for a game well here. I saw the icon light up. I'm Fred Nicholson. This is your place? What's left of it? Oh, Nicholson electroplating. 32 years of work up in smoke. Okay. Can you tell us what happened here? Our uh, chief chemist, Harold McClellan, was using this area to test the, the new process. And what exactly is this new process? Uh, that's uh, classified information, son. Where are the police, buddy? Where are the police? And your place just exploded, ticking half of LA with it. Espionage. Let's just try lying and see what he says. Tell us the truth, Mr. Nicholson. You're making bombs for the military, and this was some kind of an accident. Your pitch is high and wide, kid. Look, we do plenty of work for the military and for aircraft manufacturers, but it's all polishing and plating. There are no bombs here. I believe him. I believe him. You don't ask, you never find out. <laughs> A lot of people died here, Mr. Nicholson. I'm prepared to go to the press and tell them it was your fault. What is the new process? A way to chemically polish aluminum. It's traditionally done by hand. It's extremely labor intensive. The process could be worth millions. Yeah, but I'm the police. I'm not your competitor. You don't have to worry about telling me. Who is Tamako Akamato? Dr. McClellan's personal assistant. She came highly recommended. She's a Japanese spy. He looks worried. Akamato was involved in industrial espionage. Was she working for you or for a foreign government? That's a ridiculous assertion. How can you possibly say she was a spy? I actually can. I sort of assumed it was for Japan because of her name. This one? Evidence found in ruins suggests possible espionage. How many of your other employees carry spy cameras in their handbags? Oh, Jesus, Mary and Joseph, she was selling me out. If she wasn't a foreign spy, who could she have been working for? There could be other plating companies. But the big customers for the process are the aircraft manufacturers. Lockheed, Boeing, Hughes, North American. What can you tell us about McClellan? A brilliant chemist. He approached me a few months ago with the idea for the new process. So no one has ever done this before? No, but it's legitimate research. I honestly can't tell. <laughs> I can't tell. No, he looks a little nervous, doesn't he? Legitimate research? That- I can't really say anything against that. So you thought McClellan could do what no one else could do. You were prepared to take that risk. Look, he is a- Was a trained chemist. And his ideas could revolutionize electroplating. Mm. And you would be rich. I'm a businessman. What's wrong with turning a buck? You blew up six blocks! God knows how many people are dead. I regret that. That's laudable. We'll be in touch, Mr. Nicholson. Can you send us Dr. McClellan and Miss Akamato's personnel files? I will if I can find them. By the way, we also found the collar of a shirt. It has a laundry tag. They're likely to be Dr. McClellan. Yeah, the majority of people who worked here don't use a laundry service. <laughs> are you saying they're dirty or they're not rich enough to afford it? I'm at a loss. Fire department can sift the rubble. We can check out the coded addresses. Or we can try R and I for the laundry tag. Or maybe take a long shot at the egg code. We'll we'll travel until we see a game well. 
We don't have an address for this. Let's go to the address that we do have. But, oh my god, look at the roads here. This is not normal. It's not the way it's supposed to be. You think McGlone went up in smoke? Or is he still alive? You could ask the same question about Tomiko Akamoto. I guess you could. You got an answer? Not yet. But I'm working on it. Here we go. Detective Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? Can you speak to someone at the Army Air Force Base for me, please? For the laundry? Of course, Detective. Tell them I have what I believe is an aircraft part. Oh. It's polished metal, light for its size. It looks like a cone of some sort. It's stamped on the inside. P&W Wasp Major R4360. I'll get back to you, Detective, when you check in for messages. Anything else? I need an address for Superior Laundry Services. Closest store to your location is in Wilshire, 4766 Melrose Avenue. Thanks for your help. You know what? Let's go to the laundry first. I feel like that's gonna have less information. You can drive. No, 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 no. We have the mystery house or the laundry tag. What's it gonna be? Let's go to laundry first. The dispatch still works? Oh god. Not a single car on the streets. I think I might have already bumped into something earlier though. Oh, cars are back. Alright, fine. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Everything's back to normal here. Whoa, but it's still up in smokes. Alright, 11 K responding. 11 K Roger, at 459 there now at 38 North Catalina Street, code 2. Break in? What is this? Cops, shit! Stop! PD! <laughs> Cops, shit! A little diversion. Although we might have a possible national terrorist incident here. We're chasing some random- What the hell? Stay on his ass, Cole. Don't lose him. We're chasing some random... Smash property the thief? Bitches rear wheels. I need to be closer, Phelps! Trying to get you closer. These are not roads, mister. Oh, that freaking bush. Where is he going? Oh, God. Holy crap, he's all over the place. You didn't even successfully break in yet. Oh! Take this guy out. Beautiful. Still running? But I'm scared to go to prison, mister. Don't take <laughs> one look at me and... You look too suspicious. You don't go to prison for looking ugly, don't worry. He didn't even break in yet, though. He was trying to. So the sentence couldn't have been that heavy. He was overreacting. I think he would get a bigger sentence for reckless driving. All right, Rusty. Rusty, Jesus. Herschel, might as well take us to the laundry. Is it the same place we've been to before? It is, isn't it? I recognize the owner, I think. It's that Asian guy. What do you need? 
<laughs> of course it would be Phelps an Asian guy. LAPD. We have one of your laundry tags. Can you tell us who it might belong to? Are you kidding? I got work to do, Mac. Here's the customer book. Knock yourself out. Is it a different Asian guy? Number was uh, J2620, Cole. Who is Hangstrom? Could be someone else from the factory. Does he have an address? No. Dead end. Oh. Thank you for all your help, sir. <laughs> so helpful. We can't hear anything if we use the phone here. Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. Phelps Bet, twelve forty seven. How could I help, Detective? I need an address for an Oscar Hangstrom. Checking. No residential listing for anyone by that name, Detective. Sorry. Thanks for your help. Fake name? Hmm. You know the way. You can drive. All right. Where to? Well, there is really only one more lead. Deciphered address. Is it a residential area or what is this? Secret espionage meeting area? Behind an alleyway. Seems right. Well, well. Why the cloak and dagger routine, Miss Akamato? Yeah, what? We just spent so long deciphering the address and it turns out to be just her home? Where she has her name printed on the front? Turn the place over. You better watch your step. Oh shit! Oh gosh! Do you think I could fit in there? I couldn't fit in there. I'd like to think you would have had something more to say about getting shoved in a fridge, Herschel. Oh my god, that's not what I was expecting. He's been here a while. One of the head, one of the heart. Point blank. It can't be Tomoko though, right? That's just... Why would she do it in her own home? John Doe. We don't know who it is. On Jeans Lindbergh. Very expensive watch. Favored by Flyboys. I always wanted one as a kid. That's funny. As a kid, all I wanted was some food on the table. <laughs> Cole is kind of well off, huh? Can we look at the time as an indication of anything? Seems like the watch got smashed, so it might be stationary. Could be a class ring. What's a class ring? You mean like school? School class? Like how engineers, when they graduate from engineering school, they got their like pretentious little rings? <laughs> Um, nothing in the middle? Is that it? What is going on here? Oh! Retired You know what cop. this is, Biggs? Sure. The department gives you one of those when you retire. Oh no, this might be a colleague. So this guy was investigating Tomoko. And then he came here and got killed. Something shining here. Looks like we have a match. The earrings? Whoa! Interesting dame, this Akamoto. What is it exactly? Microfilm. 
A document shrunk to the size of your thumbnail. Rod must have amazing eyesight. Oh my god. What does it say? Are we not gonna read it? Biggs, edge 525. I'll need a couple of black and whites at 133 North Vermont Avenue, Wilshire. We'll need an ambulance in the corner. And probably a team from technical services as well. No good to me. So, this Okamoto lady is nowhere to be found. And we have a dead cop. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Detective Phelps, batch 1247. Messages, please. You need to call Ray Pinker urgently. Can you put me through? It's ringing now. We're on our way in. Nix that. I got a message from Lindbergh Field. An airplane tech there identified your part. What is it? He said it was a prop spinner from either a Corsair or a B-50. A what? Fits over the center of the propeller and protects the pitch gearing. So it's a military part? Could be, but get this. The Spruce Goose runs eight Wasp R-4360s. I think you better get over there and check it out. We're on it. Okay. I'm just leaving this here. Any colleagues coming to deal with this? I guess they're not here yet. I hope they get here soon. You're behind the wheel. So where do you want to go? Let's go to that. I wish I could see them come. Yeah, the hospital people. That's something that sleeping dogs did, that I really liked. If you beat someone up, they have the hospital people come right away. This is a military project, gentlemen. Can you state your business? Detectives, Phelps and Biggs, LAPD. We're investigating the explosion. We have reason to believe there may be a link to Hughes aircraft. I'm sorry, I can't help you there, detective. Without authorization from Military HQ, you won't be allowed onto this facility. What seems to be the problem, gentlemen? Hey, Biggs, you're not still with the LAPD. Right so, mates. Can you help us out here? Sure. What seems to be the problem? We're working the big explosion at the electroplating plant. We found a part there that belongs to one of your planes. I work head of security for Mr. Hughes now. I'll take full responsibility. I'm sure we can clear this up. Follow me. It's the big hangar. You can't miss it. So much for military clearance. Who is Mapes, and what's his connection to Howard Hughes? Vernon Mapes used to work advice. Word is he runs fuckpads for Hughes' starlets. A pimp. Earl and Mapes would seem. Mapes was the role model for creeps like Earl. Great. Wonderful. Follow me. Following. Good day, miss. Can that thing really fly? Mr. Hughes believes so. Amazing, isn't she? So, this is the spruce school. Jesus Christ, Biggs, you want to get me fired? Mr. Hughes hates that fucking name. It's the H-4 Hercules to you. You mind answering a few questions, Mr. Mapes? Call me Vernon, kid. Fire away. I'm not sure I understand why this is suspicious, though. Like, we have the airplane here, but the Nicholson electroplating people already admitted that they work on some plane parts sometimes. Do you know anything about the explosion that happened at Nicholson electroplating this morning? No more than anyone else. Heard the boom while I was shaving. Almost shit my pants. Thought it was Pearl all over again. That's what it seemed like. I'm lying already. We know, yeah, the part. Prop spinner. You know a little more? Nicholson Electroplating was working on a miracle process to polish aluminum. 
a process that was very advantageous to airplane manufacturers. You're denying that you knew about it. It doesn't matter what I deny, kid. It matters what you can prove. I can't prove that. You have some evidence that links me personally with Nicholson? He's a, he's a cop too, so we shouldn't push it too far. Looks like I was mistaken. But you had no personal contact with any of the employees. And you have no idea what caused the explosion. I'm in security. I handle Mr. Hughes's personal interests, if you get my meaning. I'm not directly involved in manufacturing. Not a lot to go off of. Do you know Tamako Akamato? Never heard of the broad. Why? I like how you knew it was a like woman, though. It's not the clearest if you're not familiar with Japanese names, I don't think. You don't happen to wear an LAPD tie pin, do you, Mapes? Oh! Sometimes. I have a couple of them from my days on the force. You're the retired guy that was in the house. But then who was the guy in the fridge? Do you know the chief chemist at Nicholson Electroplating, a Harold McClellan? I've heard of the guy. He was pitching some fancy process to the company. Pitching some fancy process? The watch. Ring. Um... We can try live first, just to see. But we know that you were sending parts to Nicholson for testing. Question is, whether you were going through Nicholson, or cutting your own deal with McClellan. Interesting theory, kid. How are you gonna prove any of that? Can I prove it with the prop spinner here? I don't know, that feels like a little bit of a stretch. Oh! found a prop spinner in the wreckage. We believe it belongs to this aircraft. We sent them some aluminum parts to test. Howard and the Boffins were interested in this guy McClellan's theories. McClellan was cutting out Nicholson, that's not our problem. Thanks for your help, Mr. Mapes. Do you mind if we have a look around while we're here? Sure. Knock yourself out. Want to take a look inside her? Can't hurt. It's a huge plane. Again, not even really sure where to start looking for information. But yeah, I guess inside would be a good start. Now, if we only knew how to get inside. You think that cone could have come off one of them? It's huge. How do we even get inside? How do we get anywhere? Here. <laughs> Herschel's like chilling out. I'm like overly eager. Okay. Not much going on here, I suppose. Whoa, this is not normal protocol. How do we get inside? Mm. Ho ho! Not like that. Oh, there's a... But that's not how we get in, right? Yeah, that's not right. Okay. Okay, come on, Phelps. This... Doesn't this just go down, or...? It does. What? <laughs> Should I use another intuition point? What was all that about? It didn't seem like we could go anywhere, even though we were on the plane. Okay, you know what? Let's just use an intuition point. We have four again. Maximum rank reached. Holy crap, that's a lot of... That's a lot of things here. None of which are on the plane itself. Great.
How about the desk here? Nope. The machine over here? Boxes? What is that? No, hang on. No. Is that a Pratt and Whitney 4360? Sure is. You know your motors. Do you mind if I take a look at the prop spinner? We're getting her ready for sea trials, so be quick about it. Whoa. What is the oily covering on the metal? Uh, we coat the aluminum parts in linseed oil to preserve it from oxidization. So the one that we were looking at... Looks like Mape's office is in the far corner. Let's go see what he's hiding. Did not have that. Does that mean something for us? I'm not so sure. Oh, that's the office. Okay, he's right here, so I'm gonna check out this side first. Are we talking to the people, or...? Ellen's process was going to replace all this. Right. Manually coating the aluminum. Oh, here's how we go inside. Oh. Great. I'm surprised they're allowing us to come here. Latitude 24 degrees 15 minutes north, longitude 76 degrees 0 minutes west. This again? Oh. No? Can I not look at that? I'm clicking. 76 degrees west. 24 degrees. Minutes north. 76 degrees. Say it again. 76 degrees west. 24 degrees, 15 minutes north. Let's see where this is exactly. The Bahamas. Somebody's already got their maiden flight planned. Vacation? I'm not... Yeah, I'm really not so sure how this is linked to the spies and the... Explosion. At all. I guess we'll just have to keep following the lead. And this is, like, completely removed from the whole... Jack Kelso and the Elysian Field stuff. For now, anyway. We don't know until later on. Hello? No? Apparently, there's a clue here. Oh, we're leaving. No. His office is upstairs, maybe? Yeah. Here we go. Doesn't tell me anything. What? Not everything here is going to be relevant. He's just letting us touch stuff in his office. All right, Tomoko. That is Marie, the body McDonald. Does Hughes have her on contract to RKO? Yeah. I bet he does. So this is not Tomoko either. And that's that. Let's see what Pinker has for us. He's probably done tinkering with that camera by now. Who is that? I don't know. His boss, Mr. Hughes? Not a relevant clue, though. 
Whoa, he just has a gun casually lying here. Circumstantial. Okay, if you say so. Alright. Mmm. This trip to the the airplane manufacturer here didn't really Thanks for the tour, Mapes. Always happy to help the department. Hey. Don't I know your face from the paper? No. You're the cop that's stripping that German broad. Nah. I think you got the wrong guy, Vernon. Easier to explain it this way. Well, people are starting to forget. That can't be a bad thing for me. Are we going back to Ray Pinker right away, or are we gonna use a game well? You can drive. Bye. Where are we headed? Unknown address. Fragment of address visible in photograph. I didn't even notice. Back to the station. So McClellan was selling his new process to Hughes and cutting out Nicholson. Looks that way. This would never go all the way up to Hughes. We had a middleman deal with stuff like this. Someone like Mapes? The word middleman was invented for guys like me. We're back. Ray Pinker. Where would Ray Pinker be? You tell me. Door knocking all morning. Any like messages for me? In the end. Not many you'd want to hear. Newspapers wanting interviews and rookies cussing you out mostly. <laughs> Nothing else. Pinker wants you in tech services. Maybe you'll be more popular downstairs. 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 Here. Guy gave his wife a pass. I said, "Don't scare him, mother." Do you have more information on the airplane, hey, or? Cole. You're not winning any popularity contests upstairs, you know. I know, I know. Where do you stand? I think you're a good cop, but I try and stay out of politics. Everybody tries to stay out of politics, Ray. Well, don't quote me on it. But I'm hoping that Parker will get the job and clean this place up. I have your photographs. You can use the oh. magnifier. There's quite a lot of detail. From the spy camera. Very funny. <laughs> I think you're right, Ray. We have our man. You take a nice photo, Phelps. <laughs> oh, cue to zoom in. Whoa, this is beautiful. Make that the thumbnail. <laughs> okay. Anyway, enough of that. I don't care. I don't go in for watch the watch. Bringing the watch or a match for our John Doe. He's obviously the competitive bid. Can you get this over to Lockheed so we can get a name for this guy? It's already on its way. How do we figure out Lockheed? From the back? Oh. You think those vice boys get any on the side? Howard Hughes, millionaire, industrialist, aviator, and playboy, and Vernon Mapes, ex-dirty cop and business fixer. You forgot this guy. I found a similar tie pin along with a dead guy in a fridge. Notes. On the process. Chemical polishing bath excellent photography Tomiko so if Tomiko had the goods on McClellan too bad they blew the place to hell hmm where is she though is she dead was she part of the explosion is this McClellan can anyone make out the street number behind him are you kidding with my eyesight West? Something West? Oh, but we have- we have the address, right? Part of it? Wasn't it 2nd Street or something? So combining that with West, 
Could we do that? Oh, here we go. Three, nine, four, one. This is the lady that was in the photograph. Cole, can you help me with a little experiment? Use the eyedropper in front of you. One drop from each of the bottles on the desk. Place the drops in the Petri dish. Okay. One drop of each? For chloric acid? Something oil? Some seed oil? Acetic... Oh, shoot! It's okay, guys. Just a little experiment. Can you guys knock it off? Everyone's still jumpy from that bang this morning. Very funny, Ray. You just took a couple years off my life expectancy. Did the same trick to me about an hour ago. So that was the stuff that caused the explosion? I think so. Acetic anhydride is almost as explosive as nitro, and when mixed with perchloric acid, it's very unstable. It needs to be cooled constantly. We used linseed oil, but you could add any organic compound to trigger an explosion. Three little drops. Yeah, and they were using a hundred gallon vat. Yeah, the linseed oil in the... Um, inside that prop spinner. Hmm... Okay, slowly... <laughs> my hat! Slowly coming together. The explosion was caused by... Was it on purpose though, or was it just an accidental mix? Because so far, I guess we don't really know what the purpose of the explosion is. Still. I don't care. I don't you drive. I need to go over the case notes. Let's see here. And where exactly are we going? The house in the photograph. I'm getting really lazy to drive today. So I'm gonna make you drive. Frankly, there's a little bit of like, Ah, I wanna go back to Elysian Fields, why are we investigating this? Kind of feeling going on too. <laughs> Just in case. It's open already. This place stinks of petroleum. Av gas, if I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> it's all around the floor. People? Are they getting ready to burn this house for insurance too? What is this? Like a studio apartment. Hangstrom is flying today on TWA. Hangstrom is dead, Cole. Why leave your ticket behind? Mips is cleaning up. Oh. Passport. Angelica Hangstrom. Daniel Hangstrom. Chemist. Hangstrom and McClellan are the same man. Oh. Oh, right, because... Oh, jeez. The gas, Cole, the gas! We gotta get out of here right now! Look, by the stove! Shoot the gas line, Cole, we're out of here! That's not a great idea, is it, in real life? Don't try this at home, kids. Oscar Hangstrom. That was, uh, we never got an address for that, because that's a fake name? Or was McLellan the fake name? Fuck. There you are, shit heel. Come on, he's not getting away from us. What? Why was Mapes burning down this guy's house? To get rid of evidence? Well, it's perfect, because we're the arson squad and you just burned down a house. Excuse me! He's really fast. Don't! Don't. Okay? Police on the job here. Just stay out of the way, please. He's so far! Whoa! Wow, 
Well, Help! you gotta get me closer. Trying, trying. Whoa, there's too many people. People. I didn't kill anybody. It's okay. I just brushed them. It's fine. Oh, they're going back to the bombing area. What the hell? Are you serious? Of all the places? I can't shoot them if they're... They're like ruining themselves. Shit. You security men, Cole. Whoa! Stay on mates. Knock them off the road if you have to, but stay on that fucker. Keep it steady and I'll try to bust this tire. You bust the wrong guy, okay? Bust this guy. Get in close and steer him off the tar. Oh! Another one. His car is pretty fast. I can't catch up. Oh my god. Don't go to sleep on me. Get in close. Get out of here. His back is already missing. Lay into his wheel well. Come on. Oh shit. Oh, he's persistent. He just won't go away. Stop. Just stop. Already. We're driving all over town. Oh, we were meant to go here. Get out of the car slowly. Fire a warning round. We're gonna have to go through all the security men first. I hope you're ready for a fight, hey, Cole. We're the police here, you know? Just killing people for no reason now? Stay down. There's a car coming. People getting out of the car. Die. Okay, there's a lot of people here. Throw out the guns. Is that it? Stay in cover. One last guy. That's it! He wants to play cat and mouse? Fine. Let's go and get his ass. Alright. He shouldn't still be here. Inside? Oh. Are all the employees in here armed? Seriously? Every single person? I'm waiting. Okay, we should pick up this gun. In here? No? Oh my god! He's too small! Gotta get closer. Stay down. Holy crap, there's a lot of people here. I'm you. Are you really? That one guy in the distance is the problem here. Never mind.
you're going to have to explain this to me again. So the guy at the chemical plant, he's planning on selling his magic formula to another company and skipping town with his assistant, but he blows himself up before he can manage it. So why the dead body in the refrigerator? Yeah. Mapes, Captain. He was eliminating all competitors for the process. When it went bang, he burnt down the apartment to remove all connection between Hughes and the plant. Mapes, right. I remember Vernon Mapes. The guy had good, honest cops hanging their heads in shame. Glad he's finally out of commission. I don't know if it'll do you any good, Phelps, but between the spruce goose and half the city exploding, you might just have made the case of the decade. Severity-wise, this was probably the biggest case we worked on. I agree. And we missed a clue somewhere. Hmm. Even though we used intuition twice? Seriously? McLellan and Okamoto might never be heard from again, but neither will Vernon Mapes. Uh, this case... I think... I don't know about the contents of it, but I felt like... Story-wise, it didn't really fit in here, because... I'm so invested in the whole Elysian field, Jack Kelso, Cole Phelps, Courtney Sheldon, Dr. Fontaine, that stuff. But then randomly, this case about bombings and explosions comes out. I know in the beginning, they mentioned that they have an APB on Jack, but then Cole was like, yeah, we gotta make sure to help him on the other side. But then, like, this case was completely just not related to it, so it was kind of like, ah, why are you... Why are you making me do this? Just let me see what's happening afterwards! Hopefully the next case is gonna be different.